How's it going guys and welcome back to Unbox Therapy. I mean, god How's it going guys and welcome back to the hacks box today. Wow, look at this We got a box that we're going to be unboxing today. Now. This is kind of an expensive product. I already opened it up I'm gonna be showing you guys what it is So what's inside this mysterious box inside this box? We got the biggest mystery of all time. This will change lives. <laughs> I'm just kidding I just wanted to say that because of Spongebob, but anyways, I'm gonna be just popping back to That is so cool. All right, so here's what we're gonna be looking at today. This is the Viotech Crescent Mini Console Projector. And I didn't realize how awesome this is until I finally started using it, and it is great. So again, Mini Console Projector, and we got two hot chicks. She's eating popcorn or uh, packing peanuts, not sure. We get a brief overview, projection lens, focusing dial, air vents, indicator. So it's all this stuff right here, USB 2.0 port, USB-C charging port, and also a laser keyboard. Wow, okay, so moving on to this side. Use your smartphone for mirroring or casting. Wi-Fi connectivity for internet browsing. 16-9 aspect ratio, connect to laptops, desktops, tablets, game consoles, digital cameras, and more. Dual built-in speakers for audio playback. So this is really quick. You can take this anywhere you want. Portable and powerful. Easy to use in important meetings. Um, definitely not going to be using for that, but there's a side right there if you guys want to read any of these technical specifications. And here on the back of the box, oh my god, this is a pocket cinema. So anyways, it's plug and play. You got 3D movies. Oh, oh, oh ah, cool. All right, laser keyboard again. And boy, am I excited. So lifting the sleeve, if I can't, <laughs> this is worse than Apple products. Whew. Oh, okay, we did it. Now let's go ahead and pop this box open. So it looks like on the side right here, we can open up this magnetic flap. And look at this, guys. So already unboxed again. So we got, like, these two compartments. You can get, like, wires in there, the glasses, and stuff like that. But I just packed this up inside this box. I think it's a nice little travel case for the projector. So opening this up, here it is, guys. Let's go ahead and take this out. And this is the main piece. Alright, so this is how big the product is. iPhone comparison. This is the iPhone 6S, the regular version, not the 6 Plus. So there it is, guys. Viotech. We got the lens right there. I think there's some air vents so it could breathe. And then down at the bottom, we got some LED indicators, so that's pretty cool. This has a 5-hour battery life after charging it, so that's very cool. And it can also plug in a USB power bank, which is also very cool. It's USB Type-C, so that's awesome. We got a speaker on this side. We got a speaker on the other side, too. And we got a little dial for focusing. On the back over here, we have a HDMI port, USB 2.0, and a USB Type-C port. And right here, this is a laser projection kind of thing. So you can basically project a laser keyboard on your desk. And you can type like that. It's so, so cool. On the bottom, you got an on-off switch. And up top, you got your power button. Overall, it's very well built. Now, guys, this could project a 150-inch image. But me being me, I did take it past that limit and make the screen size even bigger. So this thing has a lot of power for being in such a small package. It's a lot of fun, and I'll be showing you guys that here in a second. Now, the other two main things you get are a remote. So this remote's pretty good. It's kind of well built. It's kind of a little bit cheap, but still, it's a very good looking remote. And yeah, it does serve the purpose. Very clicky buttons. You got your mute button. You got your controls. You got your menu, 3D and home button, and it's just so, so cool. So that's the remote, and here are the 3D glasses. Now, the glasses are pretty cool. They're not that comfortable, but they do work. You do charge me to micro USB. It does come with a cable, so that's nice. And yeah, it's so cool that this projector also does have 3D. And here's a power adapter. It comes in two pieces. So this part is a USB Type-C. You plug this into the wall, and this is how you charge it. So you can also just play while it's plugged in. And again, with this, since it's USB Type-C, you can use a portable power bank and basically get unlimited battery life. All right, so the projector does come with a stand, but I find it most convenient just to use it without the stand, just placing it down. And so I don't really use the stand all that much. But turning this bad boy on, this thing is an experience. So here's the power button that's at the top, and all you do is press it down, hold it down, and it turns on. Makes kind of a cool sound, very cinematic. And oh my gosh, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. It looks so good. It's so beautiful. And I remember the first time I turned it on, I was wondering why it was so blurry. Because I thought the little dial on the side was for volume, but it's actually for focusing. So that is really what that is for. So you can like focus it at whatever size or distance away from a wall you are. And guys, keep this in mind. I do not have a projection screen. This is straight on my white wall that has bumps and stuff. Yet it's still so clear. So me being me, I plugged in my Wii U. You can plug in your computer, anything you want, because it does have HDMI. You can also hook up your iPhone, your Android device. 
you can basically use any device you want with this projector. It's so amazing. So I know right here it's not perfectly aligned with the wall, but I kind of like it this way because it kind of makes it like more immersive with it being in the wall and on the side a little bit. And laying down on the bed and just looking up at the screen, it's just... It's just an experience, guys. You gotta try it out for yourself. And with this projector, I have been wondering how I have been using TVs all these years when projectors are so much better. You can get any size screen you want. The wall is the limit. So here we're playing Super Smash Bros. And wow, the colors and everything look great. The brightness is fantastic. The viewing angles are great too. And this thing does have built-in speakers. So the sound is pretty good too for how small of a pack this is. Um, it's a projector, laser, keyboard. It has a speaker system all built into this one small package, and it does deliver. Now I also loaded up some Zelda Skyward Sword because I want to see how beautiful this game looks on here too. And again, I was blown away. I wish I had a Switch so I could basically get a higher frame rate on the game. It's kind of bad on the Wii U, it kind of lags and is a bit choppy. But that's because of the Wii U, not the projector. And the projector, again, did an amazing job. And one thing that I really did not like about the projector was that when it starts up, there's notifications and those notifications make this loud like beep sound. It's not really a beep, but it's a very, very annoying sound that really gets on my nerves, and I couldn't really find a way to, like, disable that sound. So yeah, even if you turn that volume down, it will make that sound, so that could get pretty annoying. Now, the battery life is pretty good as well. Again, five hours after charging it completely, and also, it does have a USB Type-C port, so it could go in and charge it using a power bank. So that is amazing. You can take this to your hotel your Burger King, your McDonald's. <laughs> How funny would that be? Should I do it? But anyways, I also played some movies. So again, this thing has YouTube built in so you can play YouTube from there. And also does have Cody as well, which I was really not expecting. Nice little feature. And yes, it also does have a built-in browser. So yep, I'm searching up cats and uh, yeah, I just wanted to see how it works, okay? So look at how clear this projector is, guys. I'm now loading up a video on this really big screen right here. Okay, I can't even speak. And this screen is about a little bit more than 150 inches. So this is absolutely massive and still it's pretty clear. Now it actually looks clearer in person. For some reason, my camera is picking up those lines like get on monitors, but those lines are not present in real life and does look a lot more clear my camera can't really pick it up here for some reason now i tried to experiment with this and i brought it to this curved wall in my house next to the stairs and this just looks so so cool and again the viewing angles are absolutely ridiculous it's so clear from every angle and i really love just watching it oh my god how did i live without this thing And now here I am at my room and I basically project the screen onto my ceiling. So I have a like in bed kind of screen. This is really cool for watching like NBA games. I just lay on my bed and the screen's up there. How's it going guys and welcome to the hack spot. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get modded and hacked games on your Android device. And this is so cool. You basically get all the perks of the game completely free. And again, I can make the screen as big as I want if my bed is lower. This is like a 50 inch screen looking down at me. So that is insane. And again, the colors are so, so cool. Man, my videos look good on this. And yes, guys, this does also have 3D. So it comes with this like little video that's like pre-installed onto this thing. I just went to the files and I found it. And it's kind of a demo for this. And it looks so cool. But just hear this music video. It's funny. But it really does a good job of showing like how good this is at showing 3D. It supports side by side and top bottom 3D. And now let's talk about the laser keyboard. I could go on and on about the projector. It has so many features. So here's a laser keyboard. It makes like this little beeping sound every time you press on a button. 
Now, this is not the perfect surface for it, so it is not really accurate over here. You need a better surface, but it does work. And here's some bloopers because, again, oh, the keyboard wasn't perfectly aligned. But if you take the time to set it up perfectly, then it will work. I mean, I set it up kind of mediocrely, if that's a word, and it still did work. So you could either use a laser keyboard or use a built-in <laughs> keyboard using a remote, which basically <laughs> brings an on-screen keyboard, which is kind of a pain to use, but it does the job. And yeah, guys, so I did watch movies on this guy. I saw that I posted a picture on my Twitter. And the screen again is just massive. So guys, would I recommend this projector? Yes, I would. I mean, it's only 500 bucks. And for that price, I mean, a TV usually costs more of this size. I mean, think about it. You can take this anywhere you want. You can project up to 150 inches and even more. You can push past this limit. You can put on the ceiling. You can put this TV anywhere, guys. So 150 inches for only 500 bucks. I think that is totally worth it. And I'm not being biased in any ways. It's my honest opinion. Anyways, I will put a link down below in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. Also be sure to get subscribe for tons more content and as always guys peace out